seconds till we're back, everybody. Tons of energy coming back Wait, out of the yes, commercial yes, break. Yes, New Day yes. in the ring, and they're waiting oh. on Bobby Lashley and MVP. Coming back in eight, seven, six. Tons of energy coming back out of commercial break. Yes. Three, two, one. Here we go. It is May Let's see that energy out yeah, there. New Day. New Day. Hello, folks. Welcome back. From the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom. Ooh, oh, that hurt. And yeah, it's been a while since I've done a video like this. Um, first time I've actually been home on a Monday and not at work. Oh, wow. Wait. <laughs> That's actually right. Normally I work on Monday nights. I just realized that. Yeah, so I didn't have to. So actually, tonight I actually watched Raw. Now I know I wasn't missing much. Um, I'll get into that. Thankfully, I had a bunch of Christmas stuff to do. Don't forget this week, in lieu of some pro wrestling. Although, supposedly, and I might be, I could do that. <sighs> So much to ponder. I might watch wrestling Christmas Eve. SmackDown tends to be good. Christmas Day's Rampage. Thursday, yeah. So this is a weird week. So tonight, or yeah, sometime this morning, I don't know, something like that, will be my Raw review. Tuesday, I do have to work late. I think I have to say till 9.30 tomorrow. 2 to 9.30. That's going to be interesting. Wednesday is going to be AEW Dynamite. We'll see what their holiday edition is like. Um, Thursday, they're just doing like a best of for Impact. Nah. Not happening. Saturday night. I don't know. Do I feel like watching Impact throwback? I don't know. We'll see. Who knows? Um, Friday is going to be Smackdown. Also, Friday, you have Drunk Drunksmith Eve, the, the tournament of Drunksmiths. With the tournaments of Drunksmiths for the Daytona Beach Bomb Fight League. And then we'll have the Championship Delete Miss. The song's going to get deleted. Sounds terrible. Other than that, let's see, where's my list? I have a bunch of thank yous to give out. And I know I'm behind on my thank yous. I still have to process the one video. I haven't gotten to it yet. It's just a matter of finding time to add in a whole bunch of videos, which takes. You'd be surprised how much longer that actually takes. And especially when you have, like, stuff to do, like work. Which is being the man. Let's see here. I do have some. Thank you to give out though. Oh yeah. First of all, I'd like to thank the ghost of Roddy Piper. But sir, you already made the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League, so I'll just thank you right off the back. See Higgy! You sir are very close to going to the Daytona Beach Bump Fight yourself. Because you, sir, can start walking out of here. Look, you just beat the 10 count because you got back in the ring after six.
his hair. Metal Ranu, you are a master of the air guitar. Roster, you're just chilling out with your briefcase boombox. Get back up? No, sir. You can crawl out of here. Randy the Ram. You just win by dirty pen all the time. Victoria Coomer. Coomer? Honor? Oh, Sooner. That's right. You, miss, are a member of the El Generico band. Harry Saturn's hairpiece. Holy shit! Mr. Azerbaijan, again, you, sir, are getting very close to being the Daytona Beach Bomb Fight League yourself. In fact, you keep on this track, you'll be in there sooner than you think, because you, sir, like every other member of the Day Daytona Beach Bomb Fight League, knows that Jordan has back. Oh, my God. Becky, look at her back. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. Rage, Mecha Rage Machine, you're just that luchador on a forklift.
Logan Cooper. You know that Natalia is superior. And Barbara Helms Hensley, you're just suffering from Mundo Madness. So that being said, I'd like to thank everyone for watching, for leaving a comment, even if I have absolutely no idea what your comment says. Also, I'd like to thank those of you in uh, Baked Wrestling. It's always good to hear from you. Let's talk about Raw. And um, I'm glad I had Christmas stuff to do. You guys will actually see what I started to do for Christmas. Because I made a short video of it that I had to send a friend. So therefore... Because I actually did it, I think. I don't know. It was just weird. Whoa. What the heck is this? What? All this? Wah, wah, wah. Yes. No wonder my computer is so freaking slow. But yeah, this is like the first time in a while I've actually watched Raw. Um, now I kind of know why. Now I know why that people have been saying that Raw is becoming the B-Show. Starts off, a very dapper Bobby Lashley comes out, and of course Biggie shows up, and Bobby Lashley says, "You know what? Oh crap! I forget his name now. MVP. That's right. That took me a while to remember that. He said, you yeah, you'd have a match with him. Let's go see this happen.' Uh, so Biggie shows up. Bobby, uh, MVP gets in the ring, and then Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins." Beat up Lashley and Big E. Interesting start. I do like the fact that, and I think this was mentioned by Jim Cornette, you're starting to have a, have a beginning, a middle, and an end that ties everything together. The problem is, everything in between is just weird. So I can actually take that off that board too. That's good. Because uh, we start off our first match, Bianca Belair versus Dudrop. Dudrop. Gets booed. Whoa. I thought I put heat on Sonya Deville. This is absolutely nothing, folks. Um, Bianca, she couldn't get the shoulder tackle. Of course, she drops a much bigger woman. Yeah, she's stronger too, so that's not going to happen. Uh, Bianca goes flying. Yeah, she got caught. Again, bad idea. Uh, they go to the outside. Bianca did it a pretty good looking spine buster on Dewdrop. It was kind of wonky how she got out of the ring. I didn't see the whole thing. I was kind of eating dinner then. Or I was preparing dinner. Or I might like came back from my shower or something. But yeah, I just saw the spine buster. Meh. It's an okay spine buster. It's no Arn Anderson, no Carl Anderson spine buster. But yeah, it was okay. Uh, Dewdrop then hit a cannonball in the corner. That looked absolutely vicious. I thought at one time... Dewdrop's going to burst out of that outfit. It's like a tight, one-piece, normal bathing suit. And yeah, things were flopping around, both north and south. So yeah, that's going to be interesting. Bianca then hits. Then Bianca just slaps the face of Dewdrop. Um, and she does uh, like a handstand springboard splash, which looked pretty good. However, Dewdrop had a big power bomb, but this was not enough to hold Bianca Belair down. Bianca Belair shows off her power, hits the KOD on Dewdrop. Uh, Bianca Belair gets the win. I can't. Com I shouldn't complain about this match too much. I'll say it's a cheeseburger match. Then we had Austin Theory backstage. Um, he's going to take on Prince. Ballard, the real rock and roller, King Devitt, 
Prince of it. Yes. The real rock and roll baby. But, um, yeah, this is weird. Austin, I'll tell Austin Theory is amazing. He is the master of the chin lock, which is a great wrestling move to see every so often. Uh, very, he's just as nimble, even more so than, than Prince Balor's. I do like the fact that they changed it from Finn Balor to Prince Balor. That's, that's, I can deal with that. Uh, just, uh, due to the springboard Spanish fly. How is a springboard Spanish fly not a finisher? I remember one time the Spanish fly was the ultimate finisher. Then the pile driver, no one kicked out of. Now everyone kicks out of everything else. And all those people located on the door of wrestling are probably kicked out of something too. Actually, probably not. A lot of them are jobbers, I think. Or working somewhere else. Ah, uh, Jeet's there. Yeah, Casey Canzaro. Camarato's there. Karen Q, I don't know where she is. Watch Morgan Webster somewhere. Chelsea Green! I have Chelsea Green's autograph. Punishment Martinez is there. Also known as Damien Priest. I like to look at that every so often. Santana Garrett. I have Indy Hartwell. Santana Garrett's the best. She put a heart on it. That's all I needed to see. That made my night. Said she put a little heart on her name. I know she does that for everyone. Yes, I do know that, but it makes me feel special anyway. But yeah, um, okay, uh, Finn did a roll up when Austin was trying to get a selfie. That that wasn't happening. Finn eventually does hit, hit the coup de gras. Uh, that looks stiff too. So that was pretty good. Prince Devitt, uh, yeah, the real rock and roller. Prince Devitt wins, which is always good. To see, even though Austin Theory didn't look bad, I mean, you hit a springboard sponge fly, that's going to get people's attention. It was a good good match. I could have hit a spring, yeah, cheeseburger match. Miz is backstage talking with Omos. Yeah, this leads into Miz TV. There were two talk shows on this, Raw. That's, that's kind of too, too many. Um, he brings up AJ and Omos. And then it becomes all about Maurice. Maurice is hot as anything, by the way. She has to move her hair so we can all see her luscious mommy boobas. Show us her baggies, feet. We want to see her mommy bags. It's a whole other issue, though. Um, but yeah, there's a tease between the AJ and Omos breakup. Um, Dominic and Rey Mysterio come up. They face AJ and Omos. Good technical skills by Dominic. Rey Mysterio is Rey Mysterio. Omos, however, does not tag in AJ Styles. AJ's begging for the tag. Tag me in, man. And Omos is just like... Oh, no. Well, that's pretty good. At least this tag team ran his course, so I'm kind of happy with it. Omos is not going to be the next Andre the Giant. He's going to be the next Omos the Giant. That's pretty good. Uh, Ray then hits the roll up. AJ, so Dominic and Rey Mysterio win. Solid match. Advances the the te more so for the teasing, more so for the breakup of AJ and Omos. I hate doing this to AJ because he's so good though. But Dominic did look impressive even against AJ Styles. AJ Styles could make me look impressive though. I'll still say it was a cheeseburger match. This is where things start to go south a little bit. Uh, Randy Orton versus Chad Gable. This was this was a quick match for some reason. I don't know what I was doing. I got that set up. Maybe I was taking my shower now. No. Maybe I was cleaning up. I don't know. I was doing something. I'll tell you what. I turn around. It was like over. Randy Orton wins. Otis comes in. He gets out of the RKO. I have no idea what happened. You know what? It's a Randy Orton match. I'll say it was a fast Randy Orton match, too. It's a ham sandwich of a match. Oh, I don't know what I was doing. I was looking. I was, I was making online purchases at Amazon. 
That's why my own personal gifts to me were more important than watching Raw. Oh, that's a bad sign. Uh, Damien Priest was next against Dolph Ziggler. Dolph, again, very technical. Priest is more of the brawler. Uh, Dolph Ziggler did kick out the broken arrow. Priest kicked out of a zigzag from the top rope. Kind of they the knew each other's skills. However, Dolph Ziggler won by countout when Damien Priest just started to beat on poor Robert Roode. And then Robert Roode gets beat up some more. It's like, glorious! Robert Roode gets beat up now. That never happened to him. Not even beer money, man. So yeah, it's kind of sad to see that. So again, he has that spine buster. Robert Roode, Arnie Anderson, Carl Anderson, and the glorious Robert Roode. Because he is the most glor he is one of the more glorious spine busters. Oh yeah, and uh, playing the battlegrounds, that's pretty cool. I do like to hear I do like to sing Glorious I will defend, I will defend till I'm victorious. I will defend up to the end. A short match it's gonna lead to day one stuff. That'll be interesting to watch, I guess. Who knows? Um, that's a steak there for me, baby. Yeah, steak all the way. That's going to be good stuff. Yeah, um, you know what? Ham sandwich of a match. Then, uh, Theory... Blindsides, Finn Balor, let me see, Austin Theory, and Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Let's see here. Come over here. Ah, get over here, you fluff muffin. There she goes, sneaking away. She wants me to go to bed because it's about my bedtime. But yeah, she's curious because the house has been like altered too. Or on the inside. It's all Christmas, all Christmassy stuff. As you guys will see very shortly. Um. Again, Austin, uh, Vince threatens to erase the contract of Austin Theory and send him back to NXT. <laughs> I wouldn't be necessarily opposed to that. Then we have the cutting edge with Maurice. I almost forgot to say her name. I'll tell you what, she just complained about being the overworked wife. And whoa, that tasteless crowd in Minneapolis. They booed her. Maybe because she's French. And you can tell she has that French accent. She started to speak French. Yeah, that's 100% reason to boo Maurice. The thing is, her hair was covering up her mommy bags too. And that's all we care about. Let's be serious. We want to see large-breasted bimboish women and have them not complain about stuff. So she got booed. Then I guess we were supposed to have Rhea Ripley versus Lena Vega. Did I miss this match? I'll tell you what, because I think I went to go do something. Actually, this, you know what? I cannot tell a lie. This is what I did instead versus watching Rhea Ripley and Zelina Vega. Okay, for the most part, it's getting there now. And all the wine stuff, that's my shadow. The good stuff. Dessert table, dessert and pastries, adult stemware, typical plastic stuff. Uh, there'll be raspberry green tea and lemonade, all the beverages. I do have to get some candles to light that up. Um, the more adult section that has to be raised as a coolie bar, and of course, open bar. Ooh, open bar. Yes, I was setting up the beverage area for my Christmas party. My dessert and beverage area. Um, desserts are not, they're still in the freezer or refrigerator. Beverages are actually, for the most part, out. I have to prop up the coolie bar and get ice. But for the most part, like it's 85% set. That's done. Really. 
Cooley bar, set up desserts, and get ice. Last three things I have to do, then I'm done. Yeah, that makes sense. That's 15% of the work. Yes. And again, I just have to go to Wawa on Christmas Day because Wawa's always open. Wawa never closes. And it'll be something different than 7-Eleven at least. Um, so yeah, I have no idea what happened. Uh, Liv Morgan came out to, to um, cut a promo on, on Rebecca Lynch. Let's call her Rebecca Quinn if we're going to call it <laughs> Rebecca Lynch. Rebecca. She throws the um, kendo stick at her. I don't know. It's, it was whatever. It was just a recap of what happened at Rebecca Lynch's, at Rebecca Quinn's gym, along with um, her husband, whatever his name is, Alexander Black, whatever. So that leads us to the main event. It was Bobby Lashley and Big E taking on Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens. I'll tell you what, the, Bobby Lashley and Big E acted like a team for really the whole thing. So did Seth and Kevin Owens. And that was kind of funny. Um, I was going to see. Kevin Owens. <laughs> he thought he was smart by getting on the ring until he gets railroaded by Bobby Lashley. Then, then like they went to a break pretty quickly. Uh, Big E gets his spots. And everyone kind of gets their spots in. It's a really... For a tag team main event match, eh, it did take about 10 minutes. It started about 42... So yeah, ten forty-two. You have about six to eight minutes of of entrances. That sounds about right. Uh, eventually, I think it was a no decision. Oh yeah, actually you know. Oh no, this was weird. Lashley works over Seth Rollins with a power slam. Kevin Owens didn't hit a stunner. He eats a spear from Bobby Lashley. And then the ref had a count to three. I think what the plan was, Seth missed the timing. And this is like a weird botch. Because the referee is supposed to count to three. You can't go one, two. Oh, two. No, you're supposed to go one, two, three. In the normal cadence they do, it, it gives it the uh, illusion of being real. Like, Kevin Owens is like, oh, two. It's like, oh, my ribs. See? Yeah, so I don't know if that was like a botch pin. Seth came in a little bit too late. Even even Bobby Lashley looked like, huh? Weren't you supposed to do this earlier? It's like, Bobby Lashley like, looked like he was trying to like, move, too. It was weird. And then, of course, um, so Bobby Lashley and Biggie win. That was pretty good, though. Um, Biggie kind of got taken out a little bit, left Bobby Lashley to carry the load. Not bad. Uh, Bobby Lashley and Biggie get beat up by Seth and Kevin Owens. Uh, that apron powerbomb, it doesn't have the same impact like Sami Zayn does. And Kevin Owens could barely get him off. I don't know if Kevin Owens tweaked something or what, who knows. Overall, it was, it was fun, it was good. Cheeseburger match. So yeah, that was Raw. And if you've been missing Raw... Oh yeah, there was also the segment... And I forgot to write this down. This is how important the segment was. Reggie took Dana Brooke on a date. Hey Dana. I'm single too. Like this. Yeah, to see the Christmas lights in, Orlando, in uh, Milwaukee, wherever they are. Tozawa was an elf... Our truth was Santa Claus and Tamina was just being no one's meaner than Tamina. Because she wants that 24-7 championship. It is kind of cute but sad. Like, they were fighting once the lights. Reggie like did like a parkour jump over the bench. I could kind of do that. I could jump over a bench. That's not that hard to do. It was kind of cute. Because Dana Brooke is just hot looking. Again, blonde haired, ample bosomed women's. Dana, if you're ever in Daytona Beach, look me up. But yeah, um, that was the only other sickling point from Raw. Yeah. 
Not much to be said about that. Um, I already gave you the schedule. Tomorrow I have to work. I have to work late, so there's no NXT tomorrow. I'll be watching AEW Wednesday, Thursday. I should definitely be putting up that one video on how to cook a barbecue chicken sausage pizza, pan pizza, and have a whole list of thank yous I do have to go through from Triple Mania Regina. I don't know. Friday, I'll, I'll try and catch AEW because at least I'll cut in some time. I'm, I might review it. I might do it live. I have no idea. All depends how I feel, I think, that after dealing with work that day. Saturday's Christmas! Yes! Brother Nero! I knew you'd show up. Oh, yeah, I already missed Throwback because I didn't want to watch that. So yeah, um, Christmas, I might watch, it's in only an hour of Rampage, it'll be good, you'll get to see me at my drunkenness, you might see a special lady too here, yeah, if you send us money in the envelope, she might show you her, her abs, yeah, you might see her ankles, oh yeah, that was funny, <laughs> if that one, if that one female caroler, caroler Showed off her ankles one more time, I would have picked her up and taken her home with me. Because she was the greatest piece of ass that I saw that day working. Oh, but I digress. Again, you're also going to have the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League, both, both for uh, Drunk, Drunks Must Eve, the Tournaments of Drunks Must Eve, the Tournaments of Death of Drunks, Drunks Must Eve, it's a long title, and the Championship Night of Deleteness.